somewhere in your body, right now. A rogue cell has emerged, harboring the potential to turn into a deadly force called cancer. But fear not, your immune system is like a vigilant guardian, detecting and eliminating these cancerous cells constantly, saving your life. You may be unaware, but this life-saving battle is happening all the time. So, what exactly is cancer? In the simplest terms, it's when corrupted cells start multiplying uncontrollably. This can happen in any type of cell in your body, leading to hundreds of different types of cancer. Some grow slowly, others aggressively. Some respond well to treatment, while others pose a grave danger. To understand the concept of cancer, we must travel back in time. Billions of years of evolution shaped cells to survive and thrive, but cooperation became the key to success. Cells in multicellular organisms learn to specialize and work together. However, this cooperation comes with a sacrifice. For the greater good, the well-being of the collective must outweigh the survival of individual cells. Cancer cells, however, rebel against this order. They abandon their role in the collective and become selfish individuals once again. These renegade cells start multiplying rapidly, consuming vital resources, and even destroying the very organs they were once a part of. But here's the twist, cancer cells aren't evil. They're just protein robots, following corrupted programming. Now, let's dive into the soul of the cell, DNA. Inside your cells, DNA contains the instructions for building proteins. These proteins determine what your cells can do. But mutations occur in your DNA thousands of times each day, leading to slight damage. Most of the time, these mistakes are fixed quickly. However, as copies of cells multiply over time, damage accumulates, increasing the risk of cancer. Certain lifestyle choices and exposures can increase DNA damage, like smoking, obesity, and environmental toxins. But sometimes, it all comes down to bad luck. Just being alive long enough can lead to the accumulation of DNA damage and the potential for cancer. The stage is set for the emergence of cancer cells. To become cancerous, three crucial mutations must occur. First, tumor suppressor genes, aptly named, act as the control mechanisms that fix DNA mistakes and prevent cells from multiplying recklessly. When these genes become damaged, the cells lose their ability to repair themselves, leading to unchecked reproduction. Second, oncogenes, the rapid growth genes, are normally active during embryonic development. They fuel the explosive cell division required for your formation. But when these genes become corrupted, they can be reactivated, leading to uncontrolled growth in adult cells. Third, cells have a built-in suicide switch called apoptosis. When a cell accumulates too much damage, apoptosis is triggered, and the cell self-destructs, preventing harm to the body. However, if the genes controlling apoptosis are damaged, corrupted cells can escape their fate and continue to thrive. And just like that, a young cancer cell is born. But fear not, your immune system is always on high alert, hunting down these renegade cells. But how does it identify and eliminate corrupted cells that blend in with the healthy ones? Let's find out. Enter MHC class 1 molecules, the display windows of your cells. They showcase the proteins being produced inside. Your immune system, armed with billions of specialized T-cells, scans these display windows, searching for any proteins that shouldn't be there. If a forbidden protein is detected, it's game over for the corrupted cell. But here's the mind-blowing twist. Cancer cells can mutate and find a way to evade detection. By shutting down the production of MHC class 1 molecules, they become invisible to the immune system. Thankfully, evolution devised an ingenious solution, the natural killer cell, a judge, jury, and executioner all in one. Hundreds of millions of natural killer cells, like relentless assassins, patrol your body, searching for cells that lack the display windows. They look for the absence of something that should be there. If a cell is hiding something, it's marked for destruction. So, you might be wondering, with such a well-prepared immune system, why do we still get cancer? The answer lies in the ongoing arms race between cancer cells and our defenses. But fear not, my friends. The war against cancer is far from over. 
promising therapies, from cancer-fighting vaccines to engineered T-cells and natural killer cells, are on the horizon. The day when cancer is eradicated once and for all may be closer than we think. The incredible tale of your immune system battling cancer cells, all behind the scenes. Remember, your body is a fortress, armed with a formidable defense system. For more interesting videos don't forget to like share and subscribe.